hey guys, imagine a world where the way we search for information on the internet is about to change completely. Are you ready to find out how OpenAI, your innovative new search engine, could be about to dethrone giants like Google? What makes this tool different from anything we've seen before? And how might this affect the way we access information every day? Let's talk about all these issues together. For starters, you already know, comment below if you use Gemini and Google's or OpenAI's ChatGPT and what you use it for. Let's talk in the comments, shall we? It looks like OpenAI is getting ready to launch a new web search product in the coming weeks and it could change the search engine landscape quite a bit. According to a recent article by The Information, a trusted source of tech news, OpenAI has been developing a search engine that would put the Microsoft-backed startup in more direct competition with Google. The article revealed that OpenAI is working on this new search product based on information from someone who knows the company's plans. This is important because it coincides with the upcoming Google I.O. event on May 14th, 2024. So it's there, oh, Google I.O is the tech giant's annual developer conference where they showcase their latest products, services, and innovations, including updates to Android, Google hardware like Pixel phones, and advances in AI and machine learning. The fact that OpenAI can launch its new search engine right before Google's big event suggests that we're about to see a major showdown in the AI space. In the coming weeks, OpenAI and Google are in a fierce competition. Both companies are caught up in a talent war trying to attract the best engineers from each other. An important detail in the article is that OpenAI's new search product is expected to be partially powered by Bing. This is intriguing because it suggests that the tool will likely utilize Microsoft's search engine technology possibly an enhanced version of Bing's AI-powered search assistant, Copilot. Copilot is Microsoft's initiative to integrate AI into its search engine to provide more useful and contextual results similar to how OpenAI's chat GPT functions despite it being the same technology. However, so far, Copilot has not been able to diminish Google's domination in the search market. By tapping into the millions of users of ChatGPT, OpenAI might be able to create a more viable competitor for Google search. Evidence of this upcoming OpenAI search product can be seen in the company's SSL certificate records, which show that they have registered the domain search.chatgpt.com. This suggests they're gearing up to launch a dedicated search engine powered by ChatGPT technology. Guys, I'm going to share some details on what this OpenAI search system could look like. Meanwhile, comment below about what you think Google currently lacks and could potentially be included in this new OpenAI search engine. Comment below. Let's chat. So what could this new OpenAI search tool potentially look like? Well, there was a short demo on Twitter, the X, shared by a researcher named Torben Boll, who's been investigating OpenAI's public code and features. From his findings, the search interface appears quite simple with a search bar and the results display a summary of the web page, uplifting fonts and even images. The internal message that Bale uncovered indicates that the AI system will be in charge of summarizing web pages into concise 300 character English sentences and generating an appropriate title updating to more languages shortly thereafter. This suggests that OpenAI wants to offer users quick, high-level overviews of search results rather than just presenting a list of links as Google has traditionally done. Of course, these are just preliminary views and the final product may be quite different, but it seems to be in line with the approach of other AI-driven search tools like Anthropic's Perplexity AI. Perplexity provides straightforward and informative answers to queries rather than just a list of potentially relevant web pages. The example of Perplexity is interesting because the founder of this company previously worked at OpenAI. This emphasizes how talent is transferring between leading AI labs and startups as people look to apply their expertise 
in crafting more effective search and information retrieval tools. Google has shown caution in incorporating AI into its search engine, likely due to concerns about the quality and reliability of AI-produced information. The tech giant has rolled out a generative search experience that offers AI augmented summaries and follow-up queries, However, it's still rather limited compared to what Perplexity and the supposed search tool of OpenAI are aiming to deliver. The reason for Google's carefulness is understandable as a large-scale publicly traded company has to exercise great caution when introducing new technologies that could potentially it could damage its reputation and also destabilize its search advertising business, which is now worth $150 billion. One misstep could send the stock price tumbling and draw criticism from the tech community. In contrast, smaller, more nimble companies like Perplexity and potentially OpenAI can afford to take on more risk and innovate more quickly. That's probably why we're seeing these new players emerge with more ambitious AI-powered search solutions that aim to surpass Google's capabilities. It's clear that the race is on to create the next generation of search engines that can harness the power of large language models like ChatGPT to provide users with more relevant, useful, and reliable information. OpenAI's entry into this space could be a game changer, especially if they can successfully integrate Microsoft's Bing technology in a way that truly challenges Google's dominance. The timing of this possible OpenAI search engine announcement right before the big Google I.O. event suggests that the two tech giants are gearing up for a major showdown in the field of AI and search. It's an exciting time for anyone interested in the future of how we access and interact with information online. As an AI savvy audience, you'll likely keep an eye on these developments. Leave your ideas and questions in the comments. I'd love to talk about the subjects of the video. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Indications of upcoming videos are popping up here right now that make perfect sense for you to watch. See you in the next video. See you soon.